right, guys, I had my my daughter go out and do some videoing of the porch out there to let everybody see what my brother-in-law did yesterday. I think he did a fantastic job on it. He's got me two rails going up and down so I can use the, uh, the crutch and use the method that they taught me in physical therapy to get up on the left-hand rail and get down on the right-hand rail. Of course, uh, they also gave me a... Well, I don't know where my wife put the belt. She's done moved it now. There it is. Right here. her. Don't blame her. Why not? It's more fun. They also gave me this belt to wear around my waist where my son can get a good grip on me from behind and keep me from falling either forward or backwards. So, uh... And he's a pretty stout boy. He's about my size, but uh. Anyway, they also got in there and found that that shilling that I dropped that I couldn't find. It's actually a two shilling coin. And I said I had a feeling some of these were Olympic coins. I'm even more sure now because this one is parallel bars, looks like, in basketball, and and uh, there's a couple others in here. And this one I can read a little bit better. This this pendant. That says London Mail Holiday, and I think it says Club, right up under there, London Mail Holiday Club. Uh, that probably makes a lot more sense to people that live over in, in the UK or live, live in London. And I've got a 1945 penny, a 1914, a 1910, and a 1907 is what this big penny is right here. And then I got another ship half penny. This thing was black. When I stuck it in the electrolysis, I had I knew it was a coin, and that's all that I could say for sure. But when it came out and I gave it the the uh, baking powder scrub or baking soda scrub rather, it turned out really nice. And uh, this one I think might be a button because it looks like maybe right there might have been where the shank broke off. But these are some really nice coins, and, and I'm not I'm not in the least surprised that that the coins that Dave sent would be really nice coins. And uh, 49 er Digging, I believe, was the one that, that said he thought that this piece right here might be the inside of an old pocket watch. And I kind of had that feeling, but I wasn't sure enough to say, okay, this is the inside of an old pocket watch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still not sure enough to say that with 100% certainty. But, um, yeah, these are some really nice coins, and I'm not surprised. Every coin that Dave has ever sent me has been really nice. He sent me three Roman coins. He said that they weren't the best quality. They weren't as nice as the ones that he had sent to uh, Deep Digger Dan for his children's competition. But, hey, that's all right. Send the good ones to the kids. That's perfectly fine. I want the kids to have the good ones. I want them to get the the ones that are, are really recognizable. Those three that I got, that that's incredible to me just to have three Roman coins that are right at 2,000 years old that the last time that they were held by a human being was more than likely by a, uh, admittedly not one of my favorite Roman soldiers. Um, I've often gotten the feeling that I was uh, alive back in that period, but I don't think that the Romans were my friends. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure whether I believe in reincarnation or not, but I get that feeling sometimes because I'll see something and it looks familiar. Uh, And I'm, I'm almost sure that I was uh, alive in Scotland back in some period. Because a lot of these castles and everything, the minute I see them, they, they feel familiar. I feel like I've been in them before or been, been to them. Or, uh, 
But anyway, these coins are just fabulous, Dave. I'm, like I said, I'm not in the least bit surprised. And as soon as I get a curio cabinet, all those other uh, things I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get put up. I'll get them put up where we can, can all get a good look at them. Cause I've still got that iron spike that you sent me with the, the first batch of things and, and some other uh, artifacts that you've sent me all along that I just can't get to stick on one of these plaques. I can maybe super glue them up there, but I don't want to do that. I, I, with this blue tack that I use on these coins, I can take any one of these coins off, take the blue tack off the back of it, and the coin's not the worst to wear, and I can reuse the blue tack over and over and over. So, uh, I think that's kind of cool. And I, I love these coins. I love the I love the artifacts. I'm looking forward very very much to being able to to get them put in a curio cabinet where I can show them off. But that flint that that's really neat. I'm glad I was able to get that to stick. And this this piece right here, be it the inside of an old pocket watch or not, it does look like it, but. I'm just not, I'm not going to wager anything on that until I'm 100% sure, and I'm just not. But these are really, really cool. I'm proud to have them, and I'm going to be proud to have them on my wall. You know, they'll go right up there with the rest of the plaques. In fact, next time I get a chance to get back there, I'm going to take a little, little nail and drive it up on the wall and get these hanging. And I need to get my uh, electrolysis jar back in the in the, the kitchen some point today and get started on the coins that uh, my buddy Joshua up in Canada sent me because I've got that other plaque that, that is just crying out for some Canadian coins. We gotta get Canada represented too. We got Great Britain represented, we got Scotland represented, we've got Australia represented, we got New Zealand represented, we've got America represented, we've got the Netherlands represented, we've got Europe represented with the Euro coins. Um, but we we de we definitely need to get get some Canadian coins up there and get Canada represented. And there's a bunch of other countries. I got some German coins, so Germany, there's one of them right there. There's an old, old German coin right here. And I got some other uh, other German coins that are on some of the other plaques. So Germany's represented. And uh, there's a lot of other countries in the world that we need to get get represented on my my wall of fame. Oh, there's France. Okay, those those are francs. I didn't notice that yesterday, but that's five francs, and that's two francs. So we got France represented too. Uh, and I know we've got Portugal represented. I saw a coin yesterday. One of these in here is from Portugal. <coughs> Let's see. Is that it? I believe that is the one from Portugal right there. But, uh, and then we got Italy, old Italy, represented with the Roman coins. So we got a lot of the countries represented. We need to get some more represented and get them up on the wall. Because like I told EC Treasure Hunters, we still got the ceiling to do. I mean, I'm, I've got I've got all this ceiling and it ain't got nothing on it. And it needs to be decorated too. I got all that ceiling in the kitchen. I got ceiling in the hallway, in the bedroom, in the bathroom. Lila, why are you looking at me like Daddy lost his mind? My cat walking by looking up at Daddy like, Daddy, you done lost your mind. You gone crazy. You think you gonna put plaques up on the ceiling? Well, yeah, I can do that. I can put them up there. Hmm. I might have to reinforce them a little bit better to get them to stay. What y'all think? But anyway, um, 
I had several people that wanted to see what that porch looked like, and I'm I'm proud to show it off because my my brother-in-law did a fantastic job. He almost got heat stroke yesterday out there. He had to have his son come out with a couple of big cups of cold water and pour it over his head and sit in the shade and, and really cool off because that sun, the heat index was probably 105 yesterday. It was It was too hot really to be out in the direct sun and we kept waiting for clouds to block the sun out and then we get over and do a little bit more and I actually managed to get in and help a little bit um, of course all I was able to do um, my circular saw the trigger was bad on it so I took the trigger out and just went ahead and twisted the wires together and put wire nuts on them so when you plug it in it's running and the only way you stop it is when you unplug it so my contribution I got to get over there and plug it in and unplug it and plug it in and unplug it so it was working like a trigger I was the trigger huh? I've been a lot of things in my life I don't think I've ever been a trigger before and I wasn't trigger the horse I was trigger the penny digger Anyway, I'm at 12 minutes and 11 seconds now, and you know they're going to cut me off at 15 minutes, guys, so I'm going to get off of here so this can get loading, and everybody can see what the porch turned out looking like. I'm proud of it. I, as soon as I can get some gray paint and paint it to match what was there to, to begin with, um, I think that's going to be a really fantastic looking porch. It looks great now. And he built it with all yellow wood, so it's treated fine. And it's four by fours and two by sixes and uh, two by fours and two by eights. And the, the steps, he made them 18 inches wide, and they go all the way from bumping up against the side of the trailer out to the rail. So it's it's a fantastic looking porch, and boy is it functional. That thing's going to be there for a while, and it adds to the property value of the of the landlord here. So I don't think she's going to have any complaints or, or anything to say about it at all. It would pass any inspection they want to put it through. So we'll talk to you later, guys. Hope you like the way the porch looks. This is Penny Digger, and we're out.